everybody I'm back and I've been contemplating making another video for a while it, it's it, they're not hard to do I mean you just sit in front of a computer or a camera I sit in front of my computer that's why this is not very good quality I'm sorry for the echo um, I just finished painting my daughter's room I'm doing it in my daughter's room and I haven't put anything up on the walls so you can see that they're bare I don't know where I'm going to film yet. I mean, I don't have a professional camera. I use my iMac. I tried using my iPad, but it was just a hassle. But I, I have to figure things out. I do want to make videos. I like making videos. I like talking to you guys. Um, I really like watching YouTube videos, so I want to make them too. It's just it's something that I want to make. Uh, today I am making a video about empties. I have a whole bunch of them and I hope that you guys like my video. So I want to start by saying a lot of these things that I have here, um, they've been empties for a while so if they look kind of like cruddy and stuff. I'm sorry, but they've been sitting there in this little basket and I've been accumulating and I have it full. So I figured I need to get rid of them. So let's make this video. Uh, let me start with this Clean On Me Soap and Glory body wash. Um, I already have another one in my shower. I have the butter, the, <laughs> sorry, the body butter and the perfume. I really, really like the way this smells. It it smells, how can I tell you? It smells kind of grandma-ish, but it smells good grandma-ish. Like when I'm a grandma, which I hope it's not anytime soon, I want to smell like this. I want my grandchildren to be like, mm, grandma, you smell so good. And whenever they smell this, for them to be, that reminds me of my grandma. Um, I do like it. Uh, like, I sell, uh, like I said, I, I have one in the shower already and I have a backup. Um, I usually, every time I go into Ulta, I pick one up. The body butter smells exactly the same and I like it as well too. It only lasts longer because it's so thick and moisturizing that a little bit goes a long way. I also have one in my purse. I have a little small one, a little like to go one, a, not a sample one, but more of a travel size one. Of, and I, I just really like this smell. It just smells, even the bottle smells good. <laughs> so um, the next one is this dry shampoo by Herbal Essence. The reason why I got this one was mm, it's good. It's okay. But I really like the smell. I remember liking the shampoo when I was young and my hair was healthy and didn't need that much uh, product to keep it uh, manageable. And I used to like the scent of this and I used to use it all the time. But I have dyed my 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 hair I've gone blonde many times I've permed I've straightened it I've done every I'm surprised I have hair of how much uh, stuff that I've done to my hair but um, I bought this one because I wanted to my hair to smell like this again I can't use the shampoo and conditioner anymore because it'll strip down my hair it just it won't leave it manageable or healthy so I figured I'll do I'll use a dry shampoo um is it any good? Yes, it's it's okay. It it makes my hair smell good. That that's what I usually because I normally wash my hair uh two times a week, sometimes only once. Mostly when I was a blonde, I, I was only washing my hair once. But now that I've gone back to my natural hair color, um, I do wash it twice a week because I notice that it, it's starting to get a little bit greasier now that I've gotten older so this is uh, necessary but I'm using another one that I, I like better but it smells good that's what I like now I have not repurchased this and I haven't been able to find it 
If anyone has uh, seen this or knows where I can buy it, please let me know. It is uh, the Matrix Biolage uh, Hydrotherapy. It's a Hydro Seal Leave-In Cream. I really, really like this, and I really like the way it smells. It's a clean smell. Oh my God, look how old it is that it had like rust in the, yuck, sorry. But you, it still has my blonde hairs on them. <laughs> um, it smells, I mean, this is old, so it doesn't smell the way it used to smell, but it smells good, and it's a really good leave-in conditioner for your hair. I like it better than the one I'm using right now, but, you know, I can't find it. So, if anyone knows where um, I can find it, please let me know. Um, so, this is a simple, sensitive skin, skin cleansing micellar water. This is the first micellar water that I've ever used. It's okay. I mean... It does what it's supposed to do, you know, it, it cleans your face. I normally don't use these kind of products to take off my makeup. I like um, using some kind of oil cleanser. I, I double, whenever I put on makeup, I double cleanse. Um, and on a regular basis, like if I want to freshen up my face, like I have no makeup and I feel it a little oily and I want to freshen up, this is what I use. now. I, I am using the Garnier one uh, right now, so I didn't repurchase this, but this is like my third bottle. So, you know, it's good. So, talking about cleansing your face, double cleansing, I usually use the uh, Garnier uh, oil cleanser, and I like to use that when I'm going to take off my makeup. I use it dry, and, I, and then I rinse it off, and then I come in with this one. I've always sworn by Clinique. Mm. I've always used Clinique, but as I've gotten older, I noticed that Clinique um, does clean my face and does keep my face um, clear, but it was keeping it too clean, and it was just drier. Even if I moisturized it, I felt my skin like too, not too clean, but like it was getting so clean that it was drying up. And I, I, I don't like dry skin. So um, I use, use this. This is my uh, third bottle, third or fourth bottle. And I have another one in my shower. And I have a backup. I, have, I bought the bigger one because this will last me. But I figure I got a bigger bottle for it to last longer. But this is the uh, Purity Made Simple. It's a philosophy. Uh, Face, it's a three-in-one cleansing for face and eyes. This stuff is amazing. Even if I have makeup on and I don't use the cleansing oil and I go in with this stuff, mascara, waterproof mascara because I only use waterproof mascara, foundation, everything comes off. Uh, I'll go in with a, a, a cotton pad with either my, my uh, toner or or my cellar water and there's no traces of makeup I love this stuff so this is um, a lotion a body lotion it is so good I normally don't go through body lotion as quick as I did with this one because it's so good the Nevada essentially rich body lotion it's for dry to very dry skin uh, given I don't have really dry skin but it's so emollient. It's so rich and it feels so good. Your body feels so smooth. And it has this, it gives it this glow. This beautiful glow. Mostly through the whole summer that I was under the sun. Um, I am pale as, and this is me having a little bit of sun. <laughs> um, it just gave you such a beautiful glow. I bought this because I saw Desi Perkins talking about this. Um, and I said, I have to go run out and get it. And I did. And both my husband and I love this stuff. It's it's so rich. It's It smells good. It smells like ne Nivea products. But it just smells, it's just a good smell. I love it. Um, 
I already have another one. Now this, I've had it for such a long time. It's the BioSilk Silk Therapy. Um, it lasted me for, I'm not kidding you. I've had this bottle for three years. And I'm sure that there's a little bit in here. Mm. This stuff is so good. Oh my god. It's like a it, it, it feels like an oil, like a a hair oil, but it's not it, it's just so it's lightweight and you can put it on your hair and it'll tame the frizz. Um even those days when you just air dry your hair and you put a little bit of this on, it just your waves, your hair looks healthy shiny beautiful i love this stuff if if you guys i've seen them at tj maxx i i i bought this one at target and they kind of have it expensive there i think it's like almost 30 bucks at target but i've seen them at tj maxx for 12.99 so um if you've never tried this this is really good sorry <laughs> So I I never had tried I've had this little bottle for a while. Uh there's I think a couple of sprays left. It's it's an empty but I'm not an empty. Um this is the Mac Prep and Prime. This is the little travel size. I did want to try it. I had never tried it before. Um I do like it. I do like it. Not so much to set my makeup, but I like to use it once I've applied all my powder makeup like blush, highlight, everything. Um, I spray it on and then I buff my face a little bit. It, it really takes the powdery look away and it gives you that natural, beautiful look. Not that you look natural with makeup, but it, it, it looks makes your skin look smoother and nicer. I love the way it smells. I do have the big one. I do have the cucumber one, which I'm almost done with too. But I think I'm going to buy this one the original one because it does smell very good i do like it it's very pleasant um i do like to use it like if i'm gonna foil an eyeshadow this is my go-to thing love this um like i said i swear by clinique um i love their moisturizers which you're gonna see right now um their toner i've been using it for years clinique is just um I like it. It keeps my skin looking fresh and healthy. Um, I already have a big one. I have another one of these and I have a little travel size. So whenever I travel, it goes with me. I love that stuff. Um, by the way, that was a Clinique clarifying lotion. Now, these, I mean, Clinique is not expensive and it's so good. And I swear by it because I've been using it since I was a teenager. Uh, this is the turnaround uh, overnight cream and this is a moisture surge um, these I know it looks like it has something in there but they're so old and it's dry and there really isn't much in there anymore much I wouldn't use it because yeah there's a little bit but it already has that I bought new ones and then it has like that yellow rim it, they're old and I've been keeping them just for this video yeah, this one's gone. Um, they're such good moisturizers. Very easy. That's what I like about Clinique. It's really easy. Night cream, day cream. Plain and simple. You know, you don't have to be putting a whole bunch of stuff on. And, and I don't like that. I like my life to be as simple as possible. And I want to do things as simple as possible. Um... I swear by this stuff. Um, I never knew about this stuff. I, not even a year ago, did uh, someone tell told me about this. It's good for everything. I do have the big tub now, and I have multiple of these ones laying around the house and the bathroom. And I have really bad dry feet, cracked feet. So I constantly have to be maintaining my feet I have to be scrubbing them soaking them and I would put moisturizer moisturizer and, mo and nothing at the moment it was like a uh, instant gratification but in the long run it just wouldn't like even though if I moisturized on a daily basis it just still wasn't enough so then 
someone told me about this. Someone told me use coconut oil and this stuff. Heaven sent. Heaven sent. Uh, this is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I've even used it on cuts. Like if I cut myself and I, I'm going to put on a band-aid, I put a dab of this and go get you some. Even on my lips. I love it on my lips. So I have this little bag in here, this little Mac bag. I think it was from uh, last year's holiday. Um, and I've been putting my MAC stuff in here. Now I have two blushes uh, that are empty and I've been keeping them here and uh, let's be honest, like they're only here, not because I finished the blushes, because I depotted them and I, I put them in a palette, but like you can buy them without that now and those are because they were a little bit older and I didn't know about the palettes and all that stuff, but I mean, when am I going to finish my MAC lipsticks? Never. Um, and then I heard that the little travel size in the MAC products don't count. So, I'm screwed. So, um, everybody's heard about Cinema Secrets, uh, the brush cleaner. I think it's so expensive. It's like these products to clean your brushes are so expensive. Those those little like soaps, those little round soaps with beads and gems, twenty five dollar. No, 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 no. So I normally spot clean my brushes after I've used them, and I use this Face Secrets Professional Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. I heard this from Tati. Uh, they sell it at Sally's Beauty, and it's like five bucks. It lasted me forever. I do have another one. They don't make it bigger than this. This is this is the only size that they come. It smells. It smells like chemicals, but good chemicals. Like it doesn't smell like vanilla. Like they say that that cinema secret smells like vanilla. Uh, it doesn't smell like vanilla, but it does smell good, and it makes your brushes smell fresh and clean. And I, I mean, I do wash. Don't. Take, don't think I don't wash my brushes. I do wash my brushes. I just don't wash them as often as other people do because I, I mean, I, I have spent a good penny on my brushes and I have a really good collection. I don't have a large collection, but I do have a good collection of brushes. Hi. Sorry, I had to go. My daughter was like, I want milk. She's with her dad. Her dad's taking care of her for a minute. That way I can videotape this. Uh, where was I? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is really good for spot cleaning. It's not to keep your, it's not to actually clean. A lot of people use these to clean between clients. I, I don't, you know, do anybody's makeup I do mine but I don't want to leave my makeup brushes dirty per se because I don't want them to stain some of them are white so I go with a little bit of this you know I dip it in there clean it up it dries very quick so I I leave them and the next time I use them I'm not worried oh did I use a dark shadow with this or, they're clean and then it, with my blush brush, that's another thing. I love to keep my blush brush clean because I don't use the same color blush every single time. So then you know residue stays back in the in the brush and I just don't want to be mixing my blush colors. So therefore, I like using this. On my, I, once I'm done with my brushes, I get them, I spot clean them, I put them back and voila, they're ready for the next time I use my, my brushes. So let's see what's next. Uh, we're almost done. <laughs> um, here is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have mixed feelings about this because I think that this is just bougie, expensive water. Uh, I just don't... I mean, if, if you want to have an extra step in your makeup routine go for it but I I don't I don't see the 
the benefits of this. I didn't see a difference. Um, I, 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 then that's why I have a, a little travel size because I, I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to buy the big one. I didn't want to commit. Yes, I have commitment problems, but it, it's just no. It was a no for me. I mean, I'm sure that you know, but no, it was no, 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 no for me. Um, I have two mascaras here. I go through mascara very, very often because I like mascara. Even if I don't wear makeup, I always have mascara on. I always do my brows. Yet to film, I didn't do it. Um, these are my favorite high-end mascaras. The Better Than Sex Too Faced one. I really, really like this. I really like the wand in it. I have the waterproof now, and I like it even better. Um, I don't know. What one. I don't know if you guys can see the shape. I like it. Uh, I like it. I like that. I like. I don't like spidery eyelashes, but I do like them. Um, you know, I I have long eyelashes, and I love the drama of them. I oh I like the like I wish they can combine these. The brush of this with the formula of this. I really don't like this brush. It's okay. I mean it's okay. It's very fat. It's very spiky. It has little spikes in the top too, like bristles, because this is a synthetic one. This is more of a original brush but it has that curve in the middle um, which I like very much because I feel like it grasps my eyelashes better this one it's okay but what I like is the formula I love it I did not repurchase this one I did repurchase this one but in waterproof and I like it I like it a lot um, okay so this still has product but it's more acetone than anything uh, there was a little bit left, like you can see that, and, and I'm going to try to use it, but like I said, it's more acetone than anything because I had to, um, thin it out because it does get a little bit thick once you're almost done with it, but this stuff is awesome. Um, this is, uh, HK Girl Fast Drying and Super Shiny Clear Top Coat from Glisten and Glow. Let me tell you something about this. This stuff... I have never, ever, 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 ever used a top coat as good as this one. Even like this, even like this uh, thinned out with, uh, because everybody that knows, they they know that it's not this thin. Everybody that knows about this, this uh, top coat, look how thin it is. It's more acetone than anything else in here anymore. I did get a new one a couple of days ago. I got here right on time because I was like, I can't use this anymore. It's it's not performing as well as it did when it was, you know, the, the whole thing. So, um, if you guys have never, ever tried this, this is, this is $6.99 uh, with shipping and handling. And then I think that with uh, the code YWP for Young, Wild, and Polish, um, you guys get, I think it's 10% off. I think once you get shipping and handling and put in the code, it comes out to less than 10 bucks. Okay. Um, worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. I swear by this stuff. This stuff is awesome. You guys need to get yourself some. Dries fast. Um, makes your nail polish last longer. It is very shiny. It's very pretty. I cannot explain to you how fast your nail polish dries. It's like three minutes later, you're touching your nails and it's like, oh my God, they're dry. Given you have to sit a little bit longer, but not a full 20 minutes, not no way. Be way before 20 minutes, your nail polish is ready to go. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I really like Clinique, but I think my skin has outgrown it at some point there's certain things in Clinique that they have outgrown and then again I have had this for like there's nothing in here anymore it's it's completely empty 
Um, I've had this for hmm, four years. I got it since I moved here to Vegas, and I've been in Vegas for four years. And this has a 24 hour, 24 month shelf life. So it's well past its prime. I've used almost all of it. It smells funky already. Um, it wasn't laying on my skin that well anymore. It is my skin color, which is medium, shade two, which is a medium. This is an uh, age defense BB cream. Uh, it has 30 SPF. Uh, it, this is a really good BB cream. I really, really like it. I've been using the A Cosmetic CC cream, so I haven't had the need to buy this one. But if you're looking for a BB cream, the Clinique um, Age Defense BB cream, it has really good coverage. It it, it gives you a smooth surface. It gives you that. It's not greasy. It's not matte. It gives you this really beautiful natural glow. I yeah, I said it. I mean, I, and no matter what foundation I use, I said it. But if you're look, if you're looking for a BB cream, you should definitely give this a go. This is a really good stuff. I love it. Talking about loving, 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 loving a foundation, I have never in my life gone through a foundation. Like gone through it. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion, I use it in uh, N3.5, which is neutral, 3.5. I do use um, 3, neutral 3, and, and I sometimes use a Y3 as well in the True Match. I It, it is one of my favorite drugstore uh, foundations. And I do have the Lumi foundation as well, which I like very much. Uh, so I figured... What the hell? I'll use a cushion. Um, this only has 0.51 ounces, so it's basically half than a bottle of foundation. But with this cushion, I like it has a mirror, and then it has a little thing that is supposed to, like a little cap. I'm sorry, thing, uh, a cap that keeps it from getting dry. Uh, I love the product. The foundation formula is incredible. It gives me the right kind of coverage because I don't need um, full coverage makeup. I don't have hyperpigmentation. I don't have blemishes to hide. Uh, my skin is more mature. And as you can tell, it has a little bit of texture. But this stuff is gorgeous. It gives you such a flawless... It gave me... I, you know, th these are the very personal, one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of thing. Like, it might work for me, but it won't work for you. But if you have, let me put it this way, if you have mature skin, that is combination, you have some pores, and you don't have much to cover, go get you some of this. This is a really nice foundation. Um, it doesn't have a lot of product in it and if you don't use it on a regular base little by little it will dry on you now I notice I, I use this with a, a beauty blender and I would just put my beauty blender in there is it the most sanitary thing to do no but even if you put a brush in there even mostly if you put your fingers in there it's just I don't know this whole cushion thing I don't know if that's why it works so well because it's in a cushion. I've never tried a cushion foundation before. I really want to try the Lancome one. But I mean, I think if it ain't broke, why, you know, fix it? I like this one. Um, and it is a drugstore. Now, it is not a cheap drugstore foundation though. This this was $13. And what True Match is five bucks. The I know that the True Match Lumi is like around eight bucks. You get less product, half the product, and it's twice the price. But it's a good foundation. It's a really good foundation. I liked it. I think I've had it for like a few months already. And it was just the foundation that I was using besides my uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, foundation. This is really, really good. I This is the one thing. This... 
And this, I can tell you, I recommend. You guys need it. You guys should try it. This one you need. This one, oh my God, you need. But this one, I think that if you have mature skin, your combination, you don't have a lot to, you know, cover. I, I really, really like it. It gives you a beautiful, flawless look. I like it. Last thing. Last, last, last thing. It's, I should have talked about it when I had my mascaras. This is the Clinique bottom lash mascara um i did not repurchase this i found it it's a good mascara and i like the tiny little wand i actually do like the tiny little wand and see it's so tiny i really like it because you can go in there it doesn't smudge you won't get it everywhere like when you use the big wands it's a really good formula this eye tends to water all the time on me. Uh, I have that problem. I don't know if it's allergies to the makeup that I'm using or it must be because it just waters every time I put on makeup. And I notice that it waters every time I put on concealer. Now I've tried so many concealers and I still have that problem. Um, but my, water, my eye does water and this thing does not smudge come off transfer really really good mascara I started using it because I heard Samantha Riley talking about this and I'm I think it's her favorite under under eye mascara and I like it it's, it's a good mascara it's ten dollars I mean it's ten dollars and then but I just don't want to spend an extra ten dollars on mascara to do my bottom lashes when I can just do it with the mascara that I'm already using you see but I mean if you have an extra ten bucks to burn you know so why not so those were my empties uh, thank you so much for watching the whole video I know it was kind of long for me coming back um, I didn't even explain why I was gone for such a long time I mean I'm, I'm not a big youtuber so I'm sure no one really missed me uh, but you know it's just life happens I started working when I started stopped doing my YouTube um, videos and then I stopped working and then I continued not making my YouTube and we started um, remodeling the house we we were just it, it's just I've been busy and it's it's just it's not an inconvenience because I like doing these videos and it's fun it's just that I haven't figured out where I'm going to start videotaping. I, obviously, this is not a good place for me to videotape, but I really wanted to do this video because I really want to throw away all that stuff. But uh, if you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos you guys want to watch, uh, I do have a lot of new stuff that needs reviewing, so uh, I think I'm going to have to start doing that because um, I want to do them on Instagram too, but I want to do a video of these stuff because there's a lot of details that I want to go through with these new stuff. So if you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos I should be making, please let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. And please thumbs up this video, please. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next video. Bye.